we want to talk about internal coherence, um, I believe that the media needs to work on internal coherence. This wonderful New York Post story, I don't think Stephen Nelson's here, but good job to New York Post, highlights the hypocrisy of the media where this is okay, protesting, this is not okay, Trump rallies. Um, Protesters protesting against injustice, against racism and police brutality. This is a rally, a political rally. They're, they're not going to be demonstrating for any kind of cause other than supporting the president. Is it just me or is one of the things that's most maddening about all this political and cultural upheaval is that it's all being driven in large part by a very dishonest media that employs double standards against its political opposition. And it does it in such a blatant way that it almost seems intentional. As if to show their power and ability to lie or do whatever they want no matter how much chaos it causes. It's quite demoralizing and I'm seeing it all around me right now. We have a national media that presents itself as an unbiased arbiter of information, truth, and justice. While in reality, it's all just political propaganda of varying degrees. The vast majority of it being used to push a Democrat party increasingly far left agenda. We all know they demonized outdoor peaceful lockdown protests, then trumpeted and supported the far left nationwide protests and riots that we've seen for the last three weeks. Now they're back to demonizing any gathering of their political opposition as a danger to public health. In any case, we saw a bit of this media strategy strategy in action today with CNN's Democrat Party operative Jim Acosta who has rationalized why it's different when his side protests and thus are judged on a different set of standards. Now we're going to go right to that video and a Newsbusters compilation that I edited a little bit showing the ridiculously obvious double standards being employed. But just give me 30 seconds to tell you about this special offer for my subscribers. Have you found yourself grazing at the fridge a lot more than usual these past couple months? If so, you're certainly not alone. And as a result, you could see your weight creeping up too. I'm fairly sure that if you've ever walked into a health food store or flipped on the television, you've no doubt heard of the ketogenic diet or keto. It's one of the most popular diet trends on the earth right now. My wife's really into it, but me, not so much. I just don't like the foods that you have to eat. We all know that your health is paramount. And during these trying times, we've got a very special offer in place. Be one of the first to reap the rewards that Keto Elevate can bring to your life right now and take advantage of our 51% off and free shipping to the U.S. That's www.ketowithdronetech.com. Uh, Kaylee, in the last day, uh, 96 uh, people in Tulsa have contracted the coronavirus. Uh, wondering about this rally coming up on Saturday. Will the president or the White House take responsibility if people get sick and catch the coronavirus at this rally on Saturday? So the campaign has taken certain measures um, to make sure this is a safe rally, temperature checks, hand sanitizers, and masks, so we are taking precautions. But you're not requiring people to wear masks? They will be given a mask. It's up to them whether to make that decision. CDC guidelines are recommended, but not required. And the CDC guidelines uh, suggest that people practice social distancing. You're not going to be able to practice social distancing in a rally with thousands of people. So aren't you, in essence, uh, bringing people to a rally where they won't be abiding by it's, those guidelines? It's adhering a to those guidelines. personal choice of individuals as to what to do. But if we want to talk about internal coherence, um, I believe that the media needs to work on internal coherence. This wonderful New York Post story, I don't think Stephen Nelson's here, but good job to New York Post, highlights the hypocrisy of the media where this is okay protesting, this is not okay, Trump rallies. Um, it's really remarkable, and I think the American people have taken notice when, for instance, NBC tweets at 4.05 p.m. Um, on June 14th, rally for black trans lives draws packed crowd to Brooklyn Museum Plaza, seeming, seeming to be lauding the protests, and then less than an hour and a half later, they say President Trump plans to rally, but health experts are questioning that decision. CBS had a similar yeah, Kaylee, these logically are, inconsistent these are, these are protesters protesting against injustice, against racism and police brutality. This is a rally, a political rally. They're, they're not going to be demonstrating for any kind of cause other than supporting the president. And I go back to my original question, will the White House, will the President take responsibility if there are people who catch the coronavirus and get sick? As yeah. you know, you've been to these rallies. So Many of the people who go to the rallies, I've been to them too, yes. are elderly, uh, probably have uh, pre-existing conditions that might put them at risk uh, for serious complications if they catch this virus. So first, let me know you've been to rallies, these Trump rallies. Um, we do rally in support of something. We rally in support of the President who got us the lowest 
number of black unemployment in the history of our country and paychecks going up. We rally that HBCU funding for historically black colleges and universities is permanent because right. of President Trump. You're not Trump. answering my question. We will rally? the President, will the White House take responsibility if people get sick? Will, can, you, can you answer that question? You suggested that we don't rally on behalf of anything. So let me note one more thing. We rally I, I said on behalf that you rally on behalf of the president. We rally That's why you're on going. behalf of criminal justice reform and the First Step Act, which President Obama and Vice President Biden talked about, but we did. And I would note this. If we want to talk about the efficacy of what we're doing, 1,300 health experts signed a letter about the protest saying, we do not condemn these gatherings. We support them as vital. So you have the health experts on one side saying this, okay. and then all of a sudden a Trump you're dancing rally around, You're dancing and around the question. You're holding up a newspaper headline. That's questions. that's very nice. Work on your internal cohesion and get back to me, Jim. Rally yeah. time, the worst thing you could do in the middle of this pandemic. Trump is defying CDC guidelines. Trump is pretending the coronavirus has disappeared. What did it feel like? to be marching arm in arm there with the police chief. A celebration there, carnival-like atmosphere. There's a guy who has a sign that says free hugs. Music, people are hugging. People showing up to his his precious rallies might get sick. I mean, they're, they're acknowledging they might get sick and die. Is that a smart move to have a rally during a pandemic? This is gonna be a breeding ground for coronavirus. We need to stop that. We need to ban political rallies. It's a beautiful moment where people can get together. Beautiful moment. Very touching and extraordinary. It's a beautiful, beautiful moment. I love you. A moment of respect and love. President Trump is still planning to hold a large campaign rallies with thousands of people packed, as he said, shoulder to shoulder. It's unclear exactly how he can even return to these large scale events given the pandemic. Tens of thousands showed up for a march in Floyd's honor. A massive crowd, and I mean massive. Tens of thousands of protesters. Thousands and thousands. Up to 200,000 people. Public health experts are warning about the risks of gathering in crowds like the president's rally. Health officials said the president's rally will pose a risk. Social justice over social distancing, we understand that to some extent. This week, more than a thousand physicians and healthcare professionals signed a letter supporting the demonstrators. A political rally like checks every box of risk. Stop it, just, just stay home people, stay home. Stay in the streets, uh, continue to protest, continue to have your voices be heard.